What is going on, people? Welcome back. Johnny here. Mance Reader is visiting Joffrey Baratheon's grave. Anyway, this is the Brotherhood of the Hollow Hill. We have 3.2 days left of endgame excitement. And then this one will be over. So what the endgame is going to do, this thing's charging currently. And then you get this smite all foes. And what it'll do is in a certain radius, it'll destroy all destruction bases. It might destroy all enemy bases. But at the very least, it's going to destroy some beastman bases in a certain radius. So... It's been quite a while. Hopefully it works. <laughs> it's part of the reason I play these games with my own mods. To make sure everything's still in good functioning order. And there's always something. As the game evolves, as certain mods interact, it's um, generally not a dull thing. So, three days exactly until we wrap this baby up. Things are deteriorating away. We are... Oh, did we run out of shit to smelt? We may have. Iron splinted boots. There's tons of gear laying about. We reclaimed a lot of steel, though they've, I think, started building things. You know what they were making is shells for this and shells for this. I actually have the steel to do some additional war machines now, but do I really want to dump it into that when those bows are just straight up broken? Maybe I should make them cost twice as much as they currently cost or something like that. They're uh, very powerful. I never really imagined people would have like four or five of them. <laughs> they pretty much stop raids dead. It's just fun. It's fun to stomp ass after going bananas and building something really awesome. Seems like I should be able to stomp ass. We should be formidable to our enemies, and I believe we are. So there you go. There's no way we're ever getting through all the hops, I can tell you that. <laughs> Still have 1,400 of those babies. Are they rotting? I have 15 days, and they're not going to rot before the game ends, so I'm just going to leave it. This room I deconstructed. Ooh, look how cold it is in there. Because without all those other... Uh, oh, interesting. Without all the other... I did roof it over, right? Without all the other smokers, sorry, I'll eventually finish the thought. Without all the other smokers, each one of these smokers generates some heat. And when it was full, it got way too hot. Now that I've de deconstructed most of them, the cloven vans are back. They appear to be falling on my head. No. Where are they? Oh, they're in the south. Okay, well. All right, back to it. And I've yet to figure out how to make solid use of Octung. Which I find more than a little bit frustrating because I wouldn't have to fuck around every single time and set everybody up manually, but here we are. I could mount the dogs and charge into combat that way. That would be kind of fun. These dudes are going to take 45 minutes to get here. Look how slow they're fucking going. I think the game's just chugging a little bit. I'm going to try not to use the mortars. Oh, this guy's got some armor we could peel off him. Somehow, for some reason, he's wearing Empire clothing. I, we did just update all the Empire clothing. So, when that releases shortly, that was the last thing I did for creating the mod here. Uh, when that updates, oh, you know what? We're going to get Daenerys just blast, straight blasting, dude. Don't want to hit the wall, so let's keep her back a little bit. Yeah, imagine like six people with that. It would just be fucking grenade town. And uh, nobody would be getting through. As it stands. Yeah, those bows just <laughs> fucking annihilate, man. Thus far, have we, have we... I saw some Ungors try to shoot us. That's it. Very, very powerful, right? Like, we are kicking ass and taking names. In the Clover, so let's write these names down. <laughs> Fag dig. Zughaz, Moonmane, and all the rest of you schmucks. Okay, they keep leaving these guys for me. I don't know where they come from. Every time we get a raid from Beastmen, we end up with a pair of yaks <laughs> with their affiliation. I don't know what that's about, but uh, it doesn't much matter. 2.2 days. Ah, oh, sorry, guys. I could strip those guys for steel, like this dude here, for instance. Oh, he's got iron here anyway, but I'm not going to. We have our hands full. I like to let everybody rest. 
be happy. It's fine. Diorite. Where might I find diorite? That's andesite. There's diorite way up here, but we're certainly not going to be hanging out up there at this point. Is there any very nearby? Uh, not really. I mean, we could just build the shit out of something else, right? Cancel. Cancel. What else do we have around? This is the kind of shit I do when nothing's really going on. There we go. We have a shit ton of andesite. Oh, we did just get a magical delivery. So someone is supporting what we're doing here. Yeah. Uh, we don't have a way to... I'm going to leave it. The dwarves must be supporting us, but we don't have a way to ferment that because we don't have any dwarven brewing barrels. And those would be required for this. Chaos meat deteriorates away very rapidly. A bunch of animals that those dicks were riding. I can cut plants out of here, I guess, for whatever it's worth. We don't have anybody really doing much right now. We could just wait till they all get blasted out of there, too, but it's fine. Well, we are getting beer in abundance. I guess I could put a beer shelf in. Doesn't spoil. Mm, don't want to block my axe ring. I didn't really make this room big enough. How many chairs did we end up with? 29. Well, I guess we had sufficient chairs for everybody. We ended up with 22 people. Inspired recruitment. There's a flash storm. How much time do we have left? 1.4 days. And the shit's going down. Well, if you're still here, I do appreciate you having stuck it out. It's been fun. I wanted to do this Empire Castle thing for a long time. Since we just spent so much time adding all this shit to the game. The towers and the gate. Now eh, the gates were there, but the curtain wall... A lot, a lot of stuff. I think we've spent a year just updating the Empire mod, and I'm rather burnt out on it, I won't lie. But it's almost done. A few little odds and ends. I've probably been saying that for eight months, but <laughs> if you're uh, over on the Discord and you're a donator, you can play that mod, as well as all the whip mods like Ogre Kingdoms, High Elves, Lizard Men. There's several people who have... Some of these I made, Orcs and Goblins and Ogre Kingdoms, for instance, are my own mods. But other people build mods, don't want to deal with it, don't want to keep them up to date for the current versions of the game. They just reach out to me and say, hey, do you want to take this over? So yeah, sure. So that's how I ended up with Lizardmen, High Elves, Halflings. Uh, I'm sure I'm forgetting some, but all these mods do exist. I, don't, I haven't done much with them, just kept them up to date for the version, made sure everything functions. Uh, and then I let donators play with them because why not? And then when I get to a point where I'm ready to actually flesh them out and finish them, then they'll go public, as will ogres and orcs and goblins. I think after we finish the update to Empire here, we're going to do a much less significant update to dwarves because I did add steam power to the dwarves not too terribly long ago. And... Um, I don't know, we probably add some more magic stuff too. Dwarfs need runesmiths and some of that. The dwarf mods, the dwarfs don't have the capacity currently to do anything with magic. So I want to make that happen for them because dwarves have always been my favorite since the 90s when I started playing tabletop Warhammer. Funny how this, this much later and it, I'm still into it and I still kind of like the same shit. So I built a few more of these in here because we had so much smoked meat, or sorry, cooked cures. No, brined meat, sorry, sitting around. And the temperature did go up significantly without having to build another brazier. So might as well. Whatever, we have the material, we have the time. It's just not a lot going on. It was nice to convert the prison into a... Oh, shit balls! I should probably... This, dude, this dude's freezing his cojones off in here. I never gave him a rug either. Yeah, what the shit, man. I think we'll close these. I didn't realize this whole time he's been freezing at night. Let's see. Needs. Slept in the cold. <laughs> and his brother died. Hey, man, if your brother showed up and tried to kill us, that's his stupidity because why would you attempt to take this castle down? <clears throat> if you were going to do it, like PvP somehow... I would recommend heavy armor. Lots of heavy armor. 
Those bows are damn near unstoppable, though. You'd have to get your melee people into those bowmen ASAP, and then you'd have a decent chance. But not if the mortars are raining down <laughs> on your cabezas. Man, that fire, you can actually see the ground. Didn't expect to see the ground again before this one was wrapped up. 16 hours! I fully had expected to lose a few more people, which is why I did build all these <laughs> sarcophagi. And turns out they weren't necessary. What's the wealth at? I haven't checked that in a fat long while. Barely half a million. Nice. I had also intended to build these outstructures out of this material, the Empire Wall, not the Castle Wall, so I kind of boned that one up, but oh well. Yeah, see, I got all the other ones right. This was just an afterthought, really. We, <laughs> extra bedroom, somewhere to make beer. If we could just get a dedicated brewer, that would be fantastic. They could take up residence over there. It's a little irritating that I used the wrong walls, but these ones look kind of funny if you double wall them anyway. I could, because they have this, like, white line on top. You, There's nothing you could really do to make them look perfect and flow well. Let's see if I can give you an example. We have a few hours left. All right, so you see what I'm talking about here. They're just not meant to be... Not that they're not meant to be, just that there was no good way to do it. Is anybody going to come build this last one? <laughs> yeah, somebody is. And that's just... I don't know. It was the best I could do. I struggled with this for a fat long while. There you go. So when you start doubling them up, they do look a little weird. But again, try as I might, I couldn't make it look any better than that. They look great when there's only one, though. Look at that. <laughs> All right, so we have about two hours left. So there's two beastmen down here. I don't even know the radius. It's a certain world tile radius. Let's see. Is there anybody else hostile? These green dudes... So this will answer the question for me. Actually, the blue dudes, too. And, uh-oh. Oh, someone couldn't get a meal. I think we're done. Let's uh, double-check what's going to happen here. Smite. And there you go. <laughs> there, you can pause it and read that if you're so interested. That's, uh... Where it's at. Oh, I don't get to see all the pawns that lived and died, huh? I could probably update it to show that. But anyways, then you get your usual credits that go and go and go. Let's go look at the world. Nope, these guys were too far away anyways. They were outside the radius. That's really loud. Anyways, I love you guys. I appreciate you haven't been with me this long. It's been a hoot. Next time... I don't know what I'll do, but I'll come up with something. Thank you for being here. You guys are the best.